the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 273, Esther 6 to 10. The Festival of Purim and Mordecai. The 13th day of the month of Ada, which almost became the most tragic day for the Jews, turned into the Feast of Purim as they praised God for the joy and victory. First point. The night before Esther's second party, God made Jaxis read the records. The night before Esther's second party, Jaxis could not fall asleep and so read the historical records. Jaxis came across the record where Mordecai reported the assassin, finding out that he did not express gratitude for this. Jaxis ordered Haman to find a way to thank someone whom the king wished to honor. Haman believed that the king could only have been talking about himself and thus replied that the king should reward him with royal robes, the king's own horse, and to have him parade the streets to show the people how a king treats his trusted servants. Haman was most shocked to hear that the person Jaxis wanted to honor was not him but Mordecai whom he wished to kill. This day became a glorious day for Mordecai and an embarrassing day for Haman. Haman went home in great fury. He told his wife and friends, and they were unable to hide their bad gut feeling. At that point, the king's servants came to pick Haman up to attend Esther's party. Haman did not even have time to take a pain class for his headache before attending Esther's party. Second point, in the second party, Esther revealed to the king and Haman that she was a Jew. When Jaxis went to Esther's second party, he once again told her that he would give her half the kingdom. She led the king on to ensure that he would listen to her actual wish. And now she started to say what she had intended to say. She revealed that Haman was trying to kill her and her people. Esther started speaking to the king. She firstly asked him to save her life. She secondly asked him to save her people from being murdered. She suddenly pointed out that if her people were killed, that would be a loss to the king's military and economic power. Esther then pointed out clearly that this was all the scheme of Haman. At this, Jaxis became very angry and had to leave the room to cool down. He came back to see that Haman was grabbing onto Esther's cloth whilst begging for his life. This ensured that Haman was sentenced to death for attempting to rape the queen. Third point, Esther requested to Jaxis to withdraw the decree of killing the Jews. The king, who felt betrayed by Haman, went ahead and killed him. By hanging him on the pole, Haman had initially set up to kill Mordecai, and only then managed to come down. Esther stood in front of the king again. She went to him in order to make him withdraw the decree of officially being allowed to kill the Jews. Once again, she went to him with her life on the line. The act of withdrawing a decree was deeply involved with the king's prestige and reputation, and thus this was virtually impossible. We remember that Daniel also experienced a similar situation under the Persian Empire, which meant that against the king's will, the king's decree meant that he still had to go into the lion's den. The power of the king's decree can also be seen in the times of Ezra and Nehemiah. Knowing all this, Esther still went before the king to make him withdraw the decree. Fourth point, through the three days of fasting and her two parties, Esther managed to make the king 
sign another degree and was given permission to use his finest horses. Despite how Esther requested the unthinkable, Jaxis granted her request by granting her the right to sign another decree that overruled the previous one. Indeed, the unthinkable had happened in the Persian Empire. A new decree became released and things had to move swiftly in order to make sure that the new decree was not too late. The royal secretaries were summoned on the 23rd day of the third month. They wrote out all of Mordecai's order to the Jews and to the satraps, governors and nobles of the 127 provinces stretching from India to Kush. These scripts were written in the script of each province and the language of each people. The king's edict granted the Jews in every city the right to assemble and protect themselves. The Jews were able to live and furthermore keep their property. Fifth point, in order to celebrate their lives, the Jews made the festival of Purim, where they shared with their neighbors. The new edict of Jaxis meant that the Jews were able to free themselves from their enemies. Due to this, the status of Mordecai was raised high above. Moreover, the Persians cooperated with the Jews. The Jews were able to win against Haman. The Jews destroyed their enemies. However, they did not put their hands on their possessions. Due to the confiscating of Haman's houses, Jaxis's royal treasury would have become even wealthier. Jaxis issued another edict. Mordecai then wrote two letters to the diaspora Jews. The letters contained the message for them to observe and keep the festival of Purim. This became a festival in a kingdom of priests whereby the Jews made it customary to look after the poor and weak in society. As for the Persian Empire, despite losing all three battles against Greece, they received tribute from 127 provinces and therefore became the Empire of Gold. Mordecai's records became the official records in this Empire of Gold. Thanks to Mordecai, the whole Jewish nation became respected within the Persian Empire. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app. 